There was probably a better way to do that. Did you know that Germany is home to more vegans and vegetarians than anywhere else in Europe? So I came up with a simple test. What can you get at McDonald's that doesn't have meat? I figure this serves as a pretty good benchmark to see just how veggie friendly the country is. What's nice for all of you non-German speakers, there is an app you can download. However, the app is in German, but it's pretty easy to figure out. And the other caveat is that you need to be on the European App Store in order to download it. If I try to do this in the US, I don't think I'd have nearly as much luck. Last time I checked, I don't think they had hardly anything vegan or vegetarian. Even their fries aren't vegan. Well, speaking about the app, the way it works is when you get close, you tell them you're here and they'll get your order ready. They were pretty busy, but um, you know, ordering ahead was nice because I got to, well, not really skip the line, but sometimes there's a line at those iPad machines and that means you're kind of waiting around while people plock away and order their meals. All right, so let's just see what we got. Well, this is pretty much everything I could find that was veggie friendly. Also, I got some fries left in the bag. There was probably a better way to do that. So this is everything I could find that was veggie friendly. Let's start off with a salad. So as you can see, it's kind of basic, but it's got everything you need. I think they just used the tomatoes that they already uh, cut for the sandwiches which is okay. Lettuce looks all right, but there's no goodies. There's no onions, no cheese. I mean, obviously that wouldn't make it vegan, but you know, maybe even a crouton wouldn't kill you. Also, I like how you get this fork that's made out of wood, bamboo, something. Eco-friendly. Now, the dressing I decided to get was Caesar. And normally I don't get Caesar dressing because it's not vegetarian. However, I checked the ingredients and there's no anchovies in this. So it is not vegan. There is some cheese, Parmesan Reggiano. Let's see how it is. Hang on, let me, let me get the rest of the stuff out of here. I think the salad is the cheapest thing you can get on the menu too, but we'll get into pricing in a little bit. Let's see how this is. It's very saucy. That's how it is. That's actually better than I was expecting. The, uh, the Caesar dressing is actually quite nice. It's not, not too sweet. Sometimes I feel like fast food places load up on sugar on these uh, dressings. I actually like this salad a lot. <laughs> I still think they can do better. I would love to see if they offered um, you know, something a little bit more. The only other salad is a Caesar salad which again, before I thought had anchovies. That one might have chicken and I'd have to check. Hey, it's always good to have this. Now, vegetarians have always usually had a salad at McDonald's, so nothing big here. Let's go on to the next item. We have a six piece McPlant's nuggets that are made of, I think it's soy. This is uh, from Beyond Meat is their vendor here. And uh, if you're not familiar with Beyond Meat in Europe, They've been around the States for quite a while doing, um, well, plant-based meat alternatives. And um, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. It's kind of sad that they're, they're doing this here first and not in the States. Uh, maybe one day the U.S. will get veggie-friendly options too. Now I did get two dips. First up, we've got the cocktail dip. And then we've also got the sour cream. They offered a couple others like barbecue sauce and I think mustard, but I figured, no, nah, these would be good to try. The cocktail dip, again, is vegetarian. I don't know if it's vegan. I will let you know on the screen. No, it has yogurt, not vegan. Sour cream, also not vegan. I guess this is really more video for vegetarians, so I, I apologize to vegans watching, but there are vegan options. I mean, I've had these before. They sell these in the store here now in the freezer section, so let's see, uh, let's see how they compare. Mmm, mmm. I mean, they taste the same as the stuff you get in the freezer section, but 
the breading on here is a little bit, it's a little bit thicker and a little bit better texture. Also, everything just tastes better when it's deep fried instead of coming out of an oven. Let's try the sour cream. Yeah. Not bad, this is sour cream with schnittlauch or green onions. So it's got a little bit of a, uh, little bit of herbal flavor to it. Nope, not bad. I've had a few people ask me, you know, why do vegetarians want meat alternatives? Why don't they just want to eat vegetables? Well, we, we do, but also if you're with some friends and they're all getting chicken nuggets or something, you don't want to be the one person like, oh, I don't eat that. It's, it's nice to just have an alternative so you can kind of fit in with everyone. Anyway, that's my take. Every vegetarian is going to have their own opinion about that. Let's go to the next item. Okay, so we got a couple things going on here. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about the fries in a minute. Uh, first up, we got the McPlant burger. This was, I think, the first thing that they came out with. Again, this is a Beyond Meat patty, which they also sell here. Let's take a look at this. Mm. So if we take a look inside, we've got pickles, lettuce, ketchup, mayo. Actually, I don't think this is mayo. They call this sandwich sauce. I don't know what that is. Looks like we've got some mustard under there as well. And then we've got the tomato. There is cheese on here, so this is not vegan, but you can, you can customize and get it without the cheese. Um, and the shredded lettuce uh, and a bun. And of course the patty. The patty looks, yeah, looks like they cooked it well, and the bun is all perfectly brown. Well, let's let's uh, go and have a taste, shall we? Mhm. Mm you know, I think that's really well balanced between all the flavors. Uh, it's not too dry. I like the amount of sauce and ketchup and stuff on there. I mean, the patty's a little thin, but. Having this as an option, hey, I think that's great. Vegetarians have never had it as easy. Now, speaking about having it easy, the fries. I think I mentioned this before, but in the US, these fries are not vegan. They're not even vegetarian. They're, they're made with uh, uh, beef tallow. But here, they're vegan and uh, they're delicious. So I'm not really sure why McDonald's is, not, is missing out on the veggie market in the US, but Maybe one day they will see the air of their ways. Something else they have here, I'm not sure if they have this in the US or anywhere else, curly fries. Now these look to also be a little bit seasoned. Yeah, you have another option when it comes to french fries here. As far as the sizes here go, I, this is probably a child small in the US. Here it's a medium. And I think it's a perfectly reasonable amount of fries. The other thing I'll mention about fries, um, you don't get any ketchup or mayo with these. You have to buy that separately. And I don't really have one. Hang on, hang on one sec. I don't have a McDonald's one to show you, but this is a Burger King one. Uh, you know, you always have, end up with one of these left over somewhere. Um, they're, they're much bigger than the US packets, so you do get more, but they're, they're like 50 cents each, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, that's the biggest ripoff here. Let me ask my European viewers though, German viewers, have you always had to pay for these or is this like relatively new eco thing? Because um, in the US these are free and my guess is if they were free at one point here they've always got to be free because otherwise I think it would be ridiculous. And finally we've got our desserts. I ended up getting two. This is an apple pie thing. Uh, they have a couple different flavors but this time of year it's just apple pie. No, sorry, they also have a cookie thing. Um, chocolate cookie something. Uh, and then this should be my donuts. Oh, Americans, we love our donuts, don't we? Um, although this isn't a donut because look, it's filled in in the middle. So I don't know, it's a, it's a filled donut. Let's be, let's be classy here. There we go. It's got an even little pocket to eat it in. You know, this remind, reminds me of is like a, not a Hot Pocket, what are the other ones? Toaster Strudel. Hmm. 
Where I grew up in New York, um, upstate New York, apples are a big thing there. And these apples actually taste pretty good. The other thing, this isn't overly sweet. This is a theme I've noticed throughout uh, Europe. Their desserts are not usually too sweet and they're usually fairly small, which is bad because then I have them more often. Last, check out this donut. Check this thing out. Oh my God. It's, it's, got, it's got some weight to it. And I think these things on the outside are, oh, they're kind of soft and weird. I think these are, these are like cookie dough bits. It's a little bit sweeter. This reminds me of a Dunkin' Donuts product. If this was made by Dunkin' Donuts, I would not be surprised. It's, it's very similar. It's not bad. It's, it's a little dense. It's, you know, the chocolate's quite nice. It's a little sweet, but. All right, I want to give you a couple conclusions. First, let's go over the pricing. Bear in mind, the prices are going to vary depending on where you are, but where I am here in Munich at this particular McDonald's I ordered from, everything you saw came to 24 euros and 83 cents. So not cheap, but I, I don't think a normal person would order all of that for a meal. I think that's a little ridiculous. A few final thoughts on this. For any Americans watching, it's important to know that Southern European countries usually have certain times of the day that restaurants are open and certain times they are shut. So if you are traveling somewhere and you wanna grab a quick bite, sometimes fast food might be your only option. Unfortunately for vegetarians in Italy, it was more restricted. They did not have a McPlant burger or anything like that. All they had there were the fries are vegetarian down there as well. So you get fries and a salad and that's pretty much it. In Germany, the fact that we have more vegans and vegetarians here means we have more options. And that's always good to see. I want to review also some local cuisine because Bavarian food, the first time I had it, not exactly what I was expecting coming to Germany. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments section below. And if you've made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.